We must journey further in. My young Gandalf. I love the slow-mo kind of sass walk. This is the Musica Universalis, the commercial heart of the Crystarium. All you might need to prepare for your journeys can be purchased here. Ah, yes. You must be curious about the currency. Fear not. The gill you carry will serve you well enough. Okay, is that just plot armor? Because they would not be having gill here, would they? Each nation once minted its own coins, but was all a jumbled mess following the flood. After much debate, the local merchants eventually elected to revert to the old ways, wherein a coin's value was decided by the worth of its metal. Okay, I like As that. The, the little lore on it. agreed upon the term gill. A word borrowed from coins uncovered within the crystal tower here. Wow. And as our traders peddled their wares across the land, so too did our usage of gill become common practice. <laughs> That's so cool. From what your stola tells me, a standard coin from the source equates to exactly one gill here, or near enough not to matter. Our way of life has benefited greatly from the artifacts we recovered from the tower. Some of which may be familiar to you. Oh, I thought they were triple triad cards. Then I was like, Womp, I'm going to rip this guy's desk apart <laughs> to grab them. Oh, they're phone cases. I'll have, an, I'll have a uh, Samsung, please. I don't want no iPhone here. But I fear it would not be practical for us to provide everything to which you are accustomed. You shall need a means to access the commodities of your home world. A van Kerm Sin? Are you there, my friend? Yes, I'm here. Of course I'm here. What amusements do you have for me today? Hello? Is it Tinkerbell? I know why! Hello! My dear Feo Ool, paragon of pixie kind. Oh, I you, Tinkerbell. I have the most vital task. No <laughs> This fine lady is a friend from a distant realm. Do you know Captain Hook? And we have need of a means to ferry things back and forth from her home. Might you be able to assist us in this matter? Yes, we will take her back to Neverland, don't worry. So cool. You came from beyond, didn't you? From beyond the rift. How wonderfully exciting! What a brave and reckless and marvelous thing you did! You've the heart of a pixie, you do. Ah, uh, that that. <laughs> After careful consideration, I have decided to grant you my assistance. Make a pact with me, and the fun can begin. Right, I'll be Peter Pan. You can be Tinkerbell, of course. But answer me this, traveller. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth? Your nails? Uh, yes, I would hope so. Yes. <laughs> Just as I thought. Then you've a good stout connection with your home, through which all your belongings, great and small, may easily pass. From this moment forth, I will be your Disney Fist. And you, my snake yak, like the branch which sprouts from the sapling, our bond will flow unbroken from one to the other. Oh, look at this. I didn't know I was getting my own think about in the story. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm doing it. It's kind of tingly. <laughs> oh. Tis done. We are bound now, dearest sapling. Oh, well. Come, come then. Make your request. Tell me your desire. I wish to visit this world of yours. Uh, I want to shit in a shower and a sleep. Mayhap her message to your friends in the source to inform them of your safe arrival. Oh, yeah, that as well, but... <laughs> I think, uh... Send a message to Tataru. Yes, yeah, send a message to Tataru. Consider it done. Nice one.
Oh, that's so cool. As you heard, that was Feo Ul of the Pixies. Their kind possess an affinity for magic akin to that of arcane beings. They rarely show themselves in populated areas, but Feo is insatiably curious even by Pixie standards, and seems to have taken a liking to the Crystaria. Oh, was a bonus? Right, we were going to organize a room for you, weren't we? Come along. All right, let's get to it then. Oh, what an open, it's so far. Wow, wow, wow. As a result of your pack with Tinkerbell, you can now access the delivery moogles, market boards, and summoning bells. No way! I like how they're entwining all of this with the different location, the different world that we're in. They're implementing all these different stuff that we originally do. A pleasure to meet you, miss. And welcome to your new home at the Penance. Your room is ready if you'd like to retire. Thank you. Oh, look at this going all out. Would you give me a twin room? No way. No way. If they open so we can get a view of the city. Glam dresser. There we go. An orange. Nice. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> you had to go do it, didn't you? It's like we got the best room in the house. You. Uh, uh, I thought this room was not occupied. You. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey. This is my room. Uh, your one's the one over. Uh, blue I eyes. You. The warrior of light from the source. Uh, no. Uh, ain't me. I'm on vacation. The warrior of darkness? What? Did you just... You can hear me? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, God, how long has it been? I... I... That was what I called myself in your world. The warrior of darkness. Oh, so what's his actual name? My real name is Ardbert. Oh. I used an alias in the source, a daft one, looking back. If you recall my tale, it was my comrades and I who caused the flood. Yes, it was indeed. We thought our home doomed. And so we listened to the Asians. So this is his world. Let them guide us to the source and try to hasten their God's damned order. Oh, wow. I remember when we fell, defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia, how she listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. Wow, this is so cool. So all the rest of the gang should be here as well, then. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrand. Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Just faded away. Leaving me to bear witness. Tell me, do you know the year? How much time has passed since we caused the flood? Uh, oh, let me have a look. Um, I can't answer that one. A hundred years. A hundred? A hundred long years. Wow. My hands find no purchase, my gestures catch no eye, and my pleas, be they whispered or screamed, reach not a single ear. I am a shade, cursed to do more but drift. Oh, jeez. 
I wonder if there's a way that we can restore him anyway. I feel as if I've been walking forever. I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges. Then bang! My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being reeled in, and before I knew it, I found myself in this room. Why is it that you can see me? Oh. What are you even doing here, come to that? Uh, I got dragged here, so don't you start. There's so many questions. You were summoned to save the first. The waste of time. This world is beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. Muddled as my mind may be, I've not forgotten that. But, but we could change it. This is an anime. But if fate has brought me to you, the one person in this God's forsaken world who can see and hear me, then perhaps there is a reason I endured. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe... Maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. Oh. Well... I'll be watching, Warrior of Light. Uh, please, not while I'm in but my do hotel. do me a favor. Be careful out there. This world has had its fill of heroes. That's nuts. So the rest of him and his team are still going to be, like, with their souls walking around the first. Not being able to be seen or heard except from us. So that's really, really interesting. So we've got to find a way to restore them. And is... Uh, Fankrid and the rest of the Scions exactly like him as well? Or are they in their full form and being able to be seen, heard, and etc, etc? So much stuff. <laughs> it just got the smiles! <laughs> Oh, jeez. It really is. The amount of lore and stuff that we have been hit with already is incredible. And it was hit at such a fast pace as well. I feel like <laughs> this will be my favorite expansion. My favorite place as well. What is the map? Even? It just shows us this location. Okay. How did you find your new quarters? I trust you were able to rest. I was indeed. Uh, well enough, I had a ghostly visit. I've got to be open with him, he was the one that brought me here, so let's see. I was not aware the room was haunted, and you were rather tired. Well, should you receive another visitation, be sure to let me know. Well, I am. I don't do it on my hallucinations. Now. Let us return to the subject of the Scion's whereabouts. Yeah, come on. Hello? Nobody got a map? Oh, look here with his little map. Whoa. This map shows the lands of Norvrand, the only area to be spared the Flood of Light. Oh, holy damn. The Crystarium is here, in the region known as Lakeland. That the Crystarium created like a barrier of some sort around? It's the fairy kingdom of Il Meg. That is where you'll find Orianger. Okay. To the east lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your Stola is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. But that's the closest one, so we'll be going there first. Your Stola, our bay. Alas, neither location can be reached without considerable difficulty. As such, I would suggest you first seek out one of the twins, each of whom is stationed but a short flight from the Crystarium. Oh. Oh. A short flight? Alphino is on Calusia, an island off the western shore. It is home to a city called Yulm, where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. Oh, no wonder Alphino's over there, huh? For his part in furthering our cause, Alphino journeyed there to meet with the citizenry and forge alliances. Yeah, of course he did. From what I hear, he has since kept himself busy gathering information around the main settlement. Oh, see us. 
Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoreng. Ooh. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack by the Sin Eaters. Ooh. In contrast to her brother, Alize felt that her energies would better be spent learning about the enemy. And thus, she sells her services as a guard, both to hone her skills and gather information on our foe. Interesting. Now, where is Pankrid then? So, will it be Calicia or Armoreng? It matters not which you choose to visit first. Simply inform me once you've made your decision, and I will see to it that you are provided with a suitable mount. Oh! Oh, we get a mount as well? <laughs> Very nice! Ah, but you must be wondering about Thancred. Oh yeah, I just said, yeah. He has taken up with a new companion, and is presently engaged as a wandering hunter of Sin Eaters. Oh, of course he is, like seven deadly sins. Being ever on the move, his whereabouts are often difficult to ascertain, but I am certain your paths will cross ere long. Yeah, he's probably naked somewhere in the forest. Alright, we've actually got a choice. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Chat, I've already made up my mind. Even before the chat started putting each one's in. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my posh boy. We've gotta go save posh boy. Uh, Donkey, we can leave for now. Uh, she'll be fine. We gotta go save my posh boy. You will visit Alphano in Kualalusia then. Excellent. As I mentioned, your destination is an island off to the west shore. As you will need a capable mount capable of making the journey. Here is an introduction present to the Sesam Gen Matai. The matter of the beast is the tenorous and he will take care of you. When you see Alphano, be sure to pass on the warmest regards. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. In search of Alice Way, get out of here. I need that. The introduction to the Chris Realium we go. Your face is unknown to me. What business do you have at the Rookery? I have a letter of introduction that I may give it to you so I can ride one of your boats. Signed by the Zanark, no less. Yes, I can provide you with an arrow mode for passage, for yes, I will pick you up a friendly. Mm. Not a chocobo, not a start. A chocobo, do you hail from one of the northern lands, more isolated settlements, perhaps? I hear there are a few places where they ride little elves, but here in the Crystal mounts like the little grey fellow are more commonly used. Seeing as you are plainly unaccustomed to riding an animal, I think it's best to accompany you on the first flight myself. As a zoom worthy of the name, it could do it. Of course, but the Xanarch sent you to me. Ensuring you arrive safely is my responsibility. Gathering your things and meet me at the Anaro launch, one of the junior tamers will attend to you while I ready your mouth. Really? So this is the equivalent to Stort? Stort, look at this thing. This is ugly, isn't it? Yes, 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 Stort. Yes, yeah, Stort, I much prefer you than that. Unbelievable. They could get some taste in mounts, I think. The whistling breeze, mute. The pounding surf, frozen. Time itself takes a breath. At light's edge, all is perfectly still. The world captured in a painting, locked in a moment. Music, faint and fleeting, drifts coastward on the lifeless air. And in the distance, beyond the broken wow. earth, wow. Wow. the city beckons. Oh, look at this. Incredible sea, ugly mountain. I have arrived on the shore, my boys. There's whales even on the shore. There's some other stuff into the distance as well that looks incredible. Get out of my way. Disgusting. Disgusting. Get out of the way. We have arrived. This is the Crack Shell Beach on the eastern coast of... Ugh. We should be safe here for the present. Oh, my God. Is it the people you should be wary of? By you, that city in the distance, that's Umilor, the island's main settlement. 
It rivals the Chris Realium in scale and was once an ally in our battle against the Abominations. Times have changed. For years, the Allurium elite have fancied themselves the masters of what remains of our broken world. They have gone as far to offer the leaders of the other settlements their protection if we bend the knee. But to say their ideals are questionable would be putting it mildly. The Christianium is one of among many who resist their heavy-handed authority. And while we are not at war, our relationships with Ulamor is strained at best. It may be wise to conceal your ties with Zana during your stay here, especially in the vicinity of the city. Indeed. I am glad we understand each other. Now, the Zanark has instructed me to divulge a secret that should make your friend a deal easier. Listen closely. Getting closely here. Let's see, big boy. Don't whisper in my ear because that'll tickle. A still tide. If you head south along the coast, you should eventually come to a fisherman's snack. Check. A friend of the Crystalium lives there, and a man who goes by the name of Elbor. Elbor keeps an eye on everything that happens in Carlesia, and will be to the point in you in the right direction. Just give him a hand of spring of time, and that will let him know he can be trusted. Here, take this, this should be enough. Find your friend, I will stay here with the Amaro when you are ready to return. Excuse me, the fuck start coming through. My destination is right here. Okay. Have a little look, so many starts. <laughs> so many starts. This is your first time in a tavern. It's customary to buy a drink if you mean to loiter. What will you be having? Uh, I'll have a shaken martini on the rocks. Uh, shaken, please. Uh, two spoonfuls of sugar with a little cherry on top as well. With a little bit of whipped cream as we like have to have in the martini. Uh, but I'll have some water instead, alright? A fine choice. And what will you be paying with? His tap water is free. That's why I asked for it. Well, uh, well now, those are exotic. Where, the, where did you come by them as coins like that? I'm mean, sorry, dear. I don't doubt that you have value, but I don't have a touchstone to test the purity. I'm not about to go begging for one from the neighbors, so you'll just have to come to some other arrangement. Uh, how about it's water and it's free because it's out the tap? Mm, yeah, thinking about that one, isn't it? Mm, here's an idea. There's a common to the north where we grow our vegetables. But lately the pest have been eating more of them than we have. What do you say a little bit of extermination work? I want you to squash any vermin you find, then visit the caretaker and give him a earful for me sleeping on the job. It'd be an old silo next to the fence, snoring like us. Does that for me, and you can laze about here as long as you like. When we were in Disneyland Paris, they specifically told us, do not drink out of the, um, what is it, the sink out of the toilet. Uh, but... There weren't no water available or anything like that, so I had to drink it. It weren't nice, but you know, it had to be done. I'll drink- WHAT?! No, 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 it weren't a bidet, it was a sink. It was a sink with two taps, a hot and a cold tap. Alf sees a bidet for the first time, is that a war fountain? No, 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 chat, chat, chat. It was an actual sink. It was in the, um... One of the hotel rooms in Disneyland Paris that we were staying. It was a sink. No, I would not drink out of a bidet, chat. What? <laughs> you said a sink. Yeah, that is what a sink is. In the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have... Yeah, there's a sink in the bathroom. So, chat, when you have a toilet, when you've done that, you go to wash your hands at a sink. Yes, yes. You go to a sink and wash your hands. You, you walk into said bathroom here. Okay, you have your bath. Your bath is going to be here. We call that B. We put that B there. And then uh, your toilet goes here. This will be the toilet. <laughs> and then you have a sink. In France, apparently, we put this as S, okay? Bidet, there wasn't a bidet, but I, I want to try a bidet. Because uh, they look really, really cool.
Toss a coin to your witcher, O Valley of Play. And how is business today, Mistress Thever? Hey, 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 hey. Hosh, boy, it's been a while since I've heard your voice. Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. What? Hey. It is good to see you, my friend. It is indeed, my posh boy. Have you been well? How's your diplomatic affairs going? The barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. Look at him! What, just like that? Oh, well, for now, you really are a dear. Well, I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, look at that little strike he's got going on. It seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma. And Yotsu. Oh, it has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. The time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. Me? I was more worried about you. Yeah, I was, posh boy. Huh. Alizé said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. <laughs> but I believe an exchange of news is in order. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. All right, okay. You see mini Gandalf that you might have encountered. I got swept by him into this realm. I met a geezer with some rum. He ended up getting killed by one of the other geezers. Uh, I made my way to the city, talked to a bunch of people, I had a see. shit in a shower, and then I'm here. But the Exarch and Dalizé told me what they knew of events. But I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavour to return as soon as we may. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the eighth umbral calamity. He doesn't know that he can't go back. Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description, the catalyst for the calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. Oh. Which can only mean one thing. Black Rose. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped, but so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, We've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. Hmm. But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. That is what brought me to the gates of Yulmor. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. 
If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure? Damn straight, let's go, let's go, let's go! Posh boy! And the bunny go on the road. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's go! She looks so cute. Go on, what are you doing then? Get up! And so we take to the road once more. Oh yeah. Making my way down here. Walking fast with the posh boy now. Assuming you have no objections, let us make our way directly to the city outskirts. If we arrive our time just right, we should be lucky enough to see yet to set foot in Ilmore. It's my best efforts to do so. Come, from here, we must head west and then across a small bridge. Well, I've already ventured over there. Storm. A big storm to do. That gate up ahead is known as the Open Arms, and Yulmore itself lies beyond. This, meanwhile, is the aptly named Gate Town, the dwelling place of the many desperate souls who hope to be chosen to live in the city proper. Thought I recognised you. Brought a new friend, eh? I no geese, I have not brought a new friend, huh? Are you starting, are you? <laughs> I'll bet you got a trick or two up your sleeve. Maybe even three. Care to show me? I ain't gonna show you. She's not here to compete. Leave her be. Yeah, we're gonna get stabbed. How about that? What? I was only making conversation. Well, you're gonna get stabbed if you carry on. How about that for conversation? Oh, hello? Oh, hello? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please! Yep, chat needs your attention, please. <laughs> hello? We got jesters. Look at him running off. Alright, someone throw something at him. Hear ye, hear ye, one and all. Welcome in. Greetings to our hopeful petitioners, one and all. Yulmore extends its warmest regards. Let it be known that a lady of distinction wishes to dine on Fish Divine. Hello, am I back home? <laughs> we seek a master culinarian who can guarantee seafood perfection. Dazzle the matron with your delicious dishes, and life in the city will be yours to enjoy. Even on days when fish is not on the menu! Nice! Who among you will answer the call? Name yourself or another? We may not at all! A Do you bit recall right? how I said Yulmore was a centre of power and authority? Well, that is not the only reason for its fame. It is also known as the City of Final Pleasures. The noble and the wealthy who survived the Flood gathered here to live out the rest of their days in decadent abandon. A poor man could sooner pass through the Ivan Needle than Yulmore's gates. The only way the common folk can enter this perverted paradise is if they fulfill the whim of one of the privileged. And so they are picked over like market produce. Oh, so that's why he tried hitting on me as I was coming into the town. Oh, he'll soon find out when he gets a crack up. It's hit off the edge. <laughs> what a catch! We'll not be throwing this one back. Well, having seen your all too obvious charms, we welcome you with open arms. Come, join us in a city of splendor and live out your life in an ecstasy of endeavor. I'm definitely back. <laughs> back in London. <laughs> no way. Oh, just look at those expectant faces. What could you possibly be waiting for? Extra share of meal to celebrate our newest resident. <laughs> what? For you. Oh, Enjoy. 
Is that bread? I'll grab some of that. Yeah, I'll grab some bread. That'd be proper nice. Meal is a foodstuff which Yulmore routinely doles out to the people of Gate Town, and apparently a staple for its citizens as well. Oh. Many here rely on it to survive in these times of scarcity. Yet the whole arrangement just seems... Well, let us just say it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Are you not a fan of the bread then, are you? Don't give me that look. <laughs> Survey the scene, we have indeed. Speak with Posh Boy. Now you understand with why my attempts to enter the city have thus far come to naught. The dubious privilege of the residency must be won via content contest with ever changing rules. They say this policy has been in place for the past two decades, ever since Illamore current ruler has come into power. Yet from what I've seen, it does not it does more harm than good. Not only does it distract the people from our shared struggle against these sin eaters, it robs them of their self sufficiency. I have tried to propose ways they could improve their lot, but my words are invariably falls on deaf ears. The attitude is so entrenched now, I worry that, well, perhaps you should take a turn around the gate town and judge for the situation for yourself. My appointment with the Ondu is due to take place in a few hours. I just need to collect the produce and meet with them on the shore. Might you help the exchange? Yes, I will. Let's do this, shall we? Excellent. I should be glad to be of your company. First things first, then I'm Bruce Willis. Then we must pay a visit to the Mosha Moa, my supplier in Bright. Come. It is just the northwest of here. Uh, I loaded your lackey up with the goods not long ago. My lackey? I know of no such person. Uh, Mistral lad, uh, short blue hair, no? He said he'd come on your behalf, and since he seemed to know all the details, I just assumed. Ah, oh, what a little mug. Confounded. Someone must have been eavesdropping on our conversation. If the charlatan was, not, uh, was here not long ago, he cannot have gone far. We should split up and search the area. If you find a vantage point on the south side of the town, I shall take the west. You're there lucky... You yeah, you're lucky you're not a solid object. Or you would be getting run over. Easy. The thief who claims the harvest on my behalf. Hand it over. You don't want to mess with Posh Boy here. Oh, oh, oh. Forgive me. I just, I have to get into the city. I have no family and all my friends have already been chosen. No one here gives a damn about me. When the meal gets handed out, I'm lucky if I get a smell of it. No matter what I do, they won't call out my name. I'm so tired, I'm so bloody hungry. Oh, should be robbing for me then, because you picked the wrong geezer. your idea. Get in that way. Well, you would have got robbed, run over, wouldn't you? What is your name? Bob. What should be Bob or something? Kai Shear. Oh, I like that, actually. Tell me then, Kai Shear. Must it be your more or nothing? What of the Crystarium? They may not offer charity, but you would be fairly compensated for any work you did. No, no, it has to be your more. Why? That's where all my friends are. We made a promise that we'd live together in paradise. So why didn't they get you in then? Not really your friends if they left you behind, huh? I was to make my deal with the Ondo at the Clave. Listen carefully, and I shall tell you my plans for the business, and how best to arouse the Yomoran's interest. You'll give me your place? Just like that. No, nope, there's a catch. I'm giving you a chance, nothing more. What comes of it is entirely up to you. I understand. Oh, thank you, thank you!
Watch out for those. Uh, <laughs> you can only go inside if you please the rich people. So we might see him at a later date. This was date. but one path. There will be others. But for young Kai Shia, it was the difference between life and death. I do not regret my decision. Yet I will admit that a part of me wonders if it was for the best. We'll soon see, Alfie. We strive to bring swift salvation to this world. That countless lives might be saved, not least your own. Even if it came at the cost of one man, should I have forged on regardless? That's not who you are, quite possibly meaning we could hurry up and think of a new path. That's not who we are. Oh? Huh? I'm gonna go with the top one for this. I suppose not. Were Estinian here, he would most likely scoff at my soft-heartedness. <laughs> Same old Alfino, never the slave to say to it. Oh I like but this. I thank you for your kind words nonetheless. Let us see to it that both these stories have a happy ending. Oh my god, he just imitated us. <laughs> Shall we return to right then? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's return. I like how Alice Way did the impression of Alphano. Now Alphano does an impression of uh, Estinian. Oh, who's Is next? Oh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, boy. Sure, but I, I think someone's in trouble. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, they may need our help. Oh, he's got a little keen eye, isn't he? Breathe easy, sir. No harm will come to you here. The poor man is shivering. Pray keep an eye on him while I get a fire going. Oh, Alpha, are you actually doing a fire? Guy. Okay, Alphado becoming the big boy. Oh, look at this. I like this. Where's the marshmallows then, Alphado? I thought for certain I was dead. How am I ever to repay this kindness? We're settled for the tale behind your current predicament. Why don't you begin by telling us your name? Grezel, I was invited into Elamore to work as an artist. But, a wealthy couple took me in to paint pictures for them. But when my style proved contrary to their taste, just as quickly as they turfed me in, turfed me out onto the streets, I was left penniless and penniless. A grave sin in Lord Vannery's city. Within days, they had bought me before the man himself and asked me what I was meant to do. Dejected as I was, I told him that I wished to leave. Little did I know how soon he would grant me my wish. They flung me over the ba- What?! And into the goddamn ocean! From up there, how are you not dashed to pieces? Don't ask me, luck I suppose. Though if I hadn't found me when you did, it wouldn't have counted for much. I'm struck. And the citizens condone such barbaric punishment? Without a second thought, when the Lord Vannery passed judgment, no one as much blinks as an art. What? Let alone argues. And Elmore, his word is law. This is some like Game of Thrones kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my god! He was just trying to be like Jack and Rose. And next thing he's like, whoa! Oh, there's a fire chase that chills from my bones. Thank you again. The more I hear about Ilmore, the more I'm determined I am to see what waits within its walls. I shall bend all my thoughts towards securing another way into the city. There must be something we can do. But first, we should convoy Tristel to the shelter of the village, fire or no fire. He needs to be put out of his chillery coastal air. As to what I'll do instead, I honestly haven't decided. I shan't stay long in this place. Not with what that city brooded over me. Nay, I'll move on to new lands and a new profession. 
and I'll keep you in my prayers for now until my dying days. Why do I feel like they're setting up so many different NPCs that we're going to be seeing? Should you make it into the city, have care what you say and do. I wouldn't want you to save my life and then lose it on your own. They won't be able to yeet me out. I will sit on my fat stot and they will not be able to. The city of final pleasures. They say kindness is his own reward, but Tristel has repaid us with a gift such as timely as it was as expected. We will, however, need to act upon his advice before another painter steps in to fill the vacancy. Thankfully, I do some modest skill with a brush, nothing approaching that of a true artist, of course, but enough to pay the role, I would hope. As for you, mm, well, if you don't mind taking a supported role, perhaps you would pose as my assistant. I told you. What about that? I'll put on a little suit or something. Then it is settled. All we need to do is return to the gate town and await the next appearance for those vile jesters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your attention once more. What a day it's been for our folk at the door. Step right up. We've got more things for you. We've welcomed a peddler who made pearls from a plum. Now, we've made a place for a painter of the plum. So come along and don't be slow. It's time to let your colors show. Step right up and let's see you paint. Because I appreciate. I can paint portraits at least, landscapes still. Lives are so rarely commissioned these days. Oh, I thought I'd spy some new faces in the crowd. What fortune that you should feel at ease around an easel. What proof have you of your prowess? Any masterpiece on your person? I do have one drawing, actually. Sadly not. Everything I paint is soon sold. Such is the life of a working artist. Oh. I already have my brush to testify for me. Though you will note that it has seen no small amount of service. Look at Alvin over the place. Oh, hum, hum. Flecks of paint, both old and new. A tool much loved and much used. We shall invite this boy in. Not a prop to be conjured on the hop. Very well, come with us and we'll put those talents to the test. Excuse me, <coughs> I'm your assistant, Alfredo. Oh, and who is this hanger on? Well, wisher or a parasite? Well, this is my assistant. She hums and um, oh, failing. To port allows my art to flourish. I will go on with her or not at all. Parasite, then we shall leave her fate in the hands of our of your new employer. It matters not a whim to us. And having filled our latest vacancy space, we retire to all more sweet embrace. <laughs> Why does a big rhyme? Yeah, get out of here, gun. Oh mercy me, that thou. We almost took our leave without leaving a loving token. We must empty the sacks ere we make our way back. There you go, boys. Got some ass bread for you as we make our way into the city. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And they did not disappoint. Redemption is beyond us. The lament of all but saints and fools and the comfort of the lords and ladies of this Wow, <laughs> shake a mar martini please on the rocks nice one once they held fast against the oh the bees knees <laughs> only to embrace the coming cataclysm and delight in the end of days oh yes that is the place i will be going i'll get my dancing going down Could do some work on the outside, I'm not gonna lie. Perhaps but, in rapture they seek to lose themselves and the misery they share. Or perhaps for them alone, the promise of eternal pleasure really does hold true. Really, really cool. I'm trying to take in all of the dialogue from the narrator as well. But chat, 
This is where I'm going to be leaving this live stream here. We are in a new city, so I feel like this is a good ending point like we did yesterday's stream before we explored the other city.